This video is about statistics used in the hike planning database. The first item is elevation change. The basic stats in each segment are length as it's found under the length kilometer heading and then the elevation statistics. These are divided into up and down in meters to give an idea of just how much of each to expect hiking in the planned direction of the hike. The hills is the total of both up and down. This gives an idea of how much effort needs to be expended. The net elevation change is to give an idea of the up and down over the segment distance. This is meaningful if the segment is short and the change in elevation is great. If the segment is longer, then it would be wise to have a look at the slope information to get an idea of the difficulty of that segment. This next slide talks about slope. Each segment contains slope information. A slope change is when the trail changes vertical direction from up to down or down to up. If the change just goes from up or down to flat, then it continues in the same direction and the slope change is not recorded. The degree of the slope is averaged through the segment and the maximum slope is calculated. To use this information, the maximum slope that a train is allowed to go today is 4 degrees. When walking on an old train path, most hikers find the slope is easy and does not cause a shortening of the breath nor a strain in the joints. This is a good rule of thumb to know if a segment is easy. And the difficulty of any segment, just compare the difference between the average change and the maximum for a train. If the maximum slope is two or three times the maximum for a train, then you know that there is at least one part of the segment that's quite steep. If the average is less than or equal to the train, then most of the segment is relatively easy. This doesn't account for any train or weather related issues in hiking, so it's just one indication of potential difficulty. Summary statistics. As the hike is, is built, summary statistics change as each segment is added. The total distance of the hike is seen accumulating and the status of the parking at the last waypoint is also seen. So when you view an already completed hike, the total distance is the distance for that hike at that point. The summary statistics show for the hike as a whole the maximums and averages of the slope, total elevation change, net elevation change, the total up and down. For overall hike, the number of slope changes and the slope direction changes per kilometer. This information is useful in judging the relative difficulty of a hike as compared to other hikes. The average slope is also useful in comparison to the maximum train inclines of 4 degrees. If it's more than 4 degrees, then the overall hike will be more difficult. When looking at the distance, the average slope and the slope direction changes per kilometer, a relative comparison can be made between two hikes to assist in how difficult these hikes can be given the same terrain and weather conditions. Now we'll have a look at editing. 